Hi, Bill Knighton with Right Angle. Today we're going to assemble our Bonita ET. Uh, this is our two-legged table. Um, we want to follow the instructions, so uh, I've got the instructions here. And uh, read the safety information first, and then uh, we can get right into the parts that are included with it. And you're going to uh, be using primarily an electric screw gun. Um, I think this is the fastest way to do it. It's just much easier. Just make sure your torque settings aren't too high so you don't strip the screws out. Um, the other part you're going to need is a square drive and uh, it's a number two square drive and uh, you can get that at any hardware store. All the uh, screws and everything you have are listed here. Just make sure you follow the instructions. Uh, it's going to make your assembly go much easier and much faster. All right, we're going to start with step one. Um, you're going to need to stand the legs up. You'll see all the holes are provided so you can start your screws. Just, just need to get them in the ballpark. And the uh, part of step one is going to be in assembling the uh, motor with the hex rod. And to do that, you can see right here, sometimes you just have to turn it a little bit to get it to slide in. And then to put it in the motor, I usually tilt the column a little bit, pick up the motor and the hex rod, kind of give it a little twisty turn here. You'll hear it slide in and, and hit. Now don't push the motor all the way on yet. You want it to be somewhat flexible. And then we're going to go to step two. And with step two, we have a, a little tool that we provide. It's a wrench to help turn the hex rod. Kind of like we did when we had the motor in our hand, only now we can use the tool. And you just need to twist it just a little bit to get it to go into the next column. Slide that together. We're done with that tool. And then we can go to step three, which is actually attaching the motor. You'll slide it up onto the column. Now, when assembling our head adjustable table, normally we tell you not to tighten everything up until you get a little closer to the finish. But with the motor, we can do this right away. All right, step four is going to be installing the cross support, or excuse me, the hex rod cover and work surface support. You'll find we have the holes for that also. Line those up. And with this, we can install the four screws. Again, this is another one of those operations where you don't want to put them in all the way until you know you have at least all four corners lined up and you can see all the holes. Now that we have all four lined up, I can tighten these up. And we'll install the rest of the screws. But depending on the size of your table, you might have a few of these screws left over. That's normal. We package for up to a 72 inch wide work surface. So if yours is smaller than that, chances are good you're going to have some of these screws left over. So don't panic. All right, those are installed. We're going to go to step five. Our cross support. Now with the screws that are provided, they're Allen screws and it comes with a star washer. So make sure you put the star washer on. That'll help the screws from uh, coming loose. And um, this is probably one of the most important parts of the table. This is what actually prevents the wobble and which is probably one of the most annoying uh, 
outcomes of not having one. Uh, though a wobbly table is just something you really don't like to deal with when it's at full height. So with these, you don't want to tighten them all the way either. I'll just get them started. Now the next step we want to do before we tighten those is going to be step seven. And that's going to be screwing down the columns to the work surface. Again, you're going to want to do the four on the outside to make sure everything's lined up. Don't tighten them up until you have all four in. So we have all four installed here. So now we can tighten them up. All right, that part is finished. So we go to step eight, which is tightening down the cross support. The reason we wait to do this last is we want to make sure everything's lined up and square. And um, once you get the columns attached to the work surface, the screws are in the cross support and that lines things up pretty good. And you want to make sure you have these nice and tight, again, to prevent that wobble. All right, step nine is going to be installing the control box and the uh, switch for the control box. So with the control box, you have uh, little smaller screws for that unit and for the switch also. They are the same. You see they're just a little bit smaller than the standard screw. I like to have the power off to the right. You're going to see there's pre-drilled holes. You're going to find there's three small holes in the front. Two of the screws, uh, screw holes are for the standard two button switch. And if you use the programmable switch, you still use two screw holes, but they're the outside holes. So you'll have, there's actually a hole underneath here and then you're Two button switch would install right there. All right, step 10, you want to run the uh, wire management. There are adhe adhesive strips with this um, that you're going to want to pull off and attach to the work surface. Since this is for demonstration purposes only, we're not going to do that here today. And you can place this anywhere. There's, uh, there's no pre-drilled holes for it, but they are self-drilling screws. So you can, if you want to use them in a different fashion, you're more than welcome to. If you need more, you can contact us through customer service at rightangleproducts.com. Here you can uh, then run your fire management. Snap the switch in, the little button goes towards the work surface on the switch. And then the motor plugs into the plug outlet that's right next to the switch. You might find that yours has a, a uh, label covering up the secondary motor plug. That's if it's a two motor table that we use on our three column system. Okay, we're going to hook the power up. Plug it in. Push the up button. It'll reset. And if it moves, you're in good shape. Your installation is complete. Just flip the table over. I suggest getting some help. It's not going to be light. Um, but thank you for uh, watching. And if you have any questions, again, contact us at reproducts.com or at 800-298-4351 and you can uh, dial zero for the uh, operator.